Hey guys, what's up? Haunted here. Today I'm going to be making this video guide to show you kind of how to get your feet started in Zero Survival. Once you put up the game for the first time, you'll come across a character creation screen. You know, just quickly make your character. Because we have hairstyles, head shapes, colors, eye colors, even eyebrow styles, and beards. So we're going to create a character. Character's now been saved. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to join a server. I'm going to join a small server so I can make this video and I'll be right back okay to simply join a server you just click on the server and you wait for the loading screen all right guys we are finally in game and now we're going to go to the missions tab and we're going to start doing our missions uh, so our first mission is going to be find three branches from bushes so the bushes in the game that you can loot are these small trees that I usually tell people they're small trees um, and from these you can get wooden sticks plant fibers and wooden branches so we're going to run around and look for a bunch of these plants. As you can see, we have one of three completed now. Two, three completed. Alright, now we have three, three completed. Completed our first mission. This mission is going to reward us with a juice box. We're going to claim that mission. And now, our next mission is to consume any drink. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit tab. And you can either right click and drink or double click. Now we completed that mission. We're going to earn some bags of chips. We're going to claim those. Our new mission is to consume any food item to replenish your hunger. So we're going to hit tab again. I prefer to double click. Nice. Complete that mission too. Consume any food item. Oh, we completed that. Now you're going to claim a reward. Now we're going to craft an improvised wood axe. So, to get to the crafting menu, you're going to hit tab, go to crafting, and we're going to make a wooden axe. To make this axe, you need one branch, five sticks, five fiber. Once again, you get these looting those white bushes that we just looted for our first mission. We're going to craft. Boom. Mission complete. Now we're going to claim rewards again. Now craft a improvised wooden axe. We're going to do the same thing over again. There we go. Claim reward. Now craft an improvised wooden hammer. So we're going to have to run around and get two more fiber. This is what the bushes look like from afar. Loot all these. Alright, let's craft our hammer now. Nice. Claim reward. Now craft a satchel. So back to your crafting menu. You could scroll down, but it's also a search of recipes, so we could type satchel. It's uh, two cloth, one rope. Craft one. And there we go. Go to Mrs. Tab, scroll down. We'll get a free M19, and then boom, we completed the free uh, the first missions. Hit two, hit R for reload. And now we're armed and dangerous. Now Collect 10 logs by chopping down a tree. So to chop trees in this game, you simply take your improvised axe or a normal axe you can find looting. You get to chop. There you go. Um, per tree, you'll always get around 10 logs. So we're going to claim reward. Now we need to gather 10 rocks by mining. So as you can guess, these nodes here are going to be your, the mining nodes in the game. They can give you rocks, metal ore, sulfur ore, silver, or gold ore, and copper. I believe I didn't say that. There you go. Now we're done with that mission. Let's go to missions tab, claim rewards. Now, our new mission is to craft 15 wood planks. So we're going to go to crafting tab, go here, and you can craft max, and this will craft 10. So we need to get a l Actually, no, we don't. We're good. I forgot that one log makes two wood. So that would be 20 logs right there. Go back to our, our missions tab. Claim reward. Now, our new mission is to craft a land claim. So once again, we can scroll down, or we could just type in land. Let's craft a land claim. Right here it says it takes five seconds to craft. Nice. Now we have a land claim. Let's go to missions tab. Claim our rewards. Place a land claim for your base. 
Now, this is going to be the hard part of the game, uh, but they've been making it easier to find a place to put your base. Um, so, what you want to do is to right click and deploy, or you could drag it over to a hotkey as I put the Q5, which is quick at slot 5, and then you hit your mount 5 button. So, you can't build within 150 meters of another base, and you also can't build within, I believe, 250 meters of a city. So, we're going to do a little running here. Let's see if we can find a claim. People are typing in the chat. We'll say, hello. Oh, so now it's green, right? So now we can claim this land for our base. Uh, we'll claim it right here. Boom. Missions tab. Scroll down. Claim rewards. Claim. Craft a foundation for your base. So, I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in... So, there's multiple things, right? We could type in foundation. Or, we could scroll down through here. Or, we can go to building tab. So, to make a base foundation, we need 40 planks. So, that means we need 20 logs. Because one log makes two planks. So, let's get to woodcutting. Alright, that should be the, uh, plenty of wood. I forgot we already had wood on us from completing the mission. Grab Max again. Oh, we need one more plank. I'm gonna go to building tabs, base foundation, craft one. Right, right click and deploy and then this inner circle is for base building and the outer circle is for your perimeter wall I mean the outer square so we'll just place it over our claim because it doesn't matter boom missions tab claim reward claim reward craft three base walls so we're gonna craft max we're going to hide a little bit because we're on a PvP server. I need a craft max. I'm going to need a bunch of planks to make our base here. Go to the building tab. Wall. One, two. Oh, we don't have enough planks, so we're going to make more planks. Might need to get some more wood here. My favorite thing to do is the craft wall cutting. You get, you know, two birds on stone. Alright, let's craft more planks. Go back to building. We need to make one more mall. One more wall. Claim rewards. Now. It wants us to build the three walls on our foundation. So what we're going to do is drag this over to Q5. Or you can right click and quick slot and it'll pretty put it for 5 for you. So you're going to hit 5 on your keyboard. And I have a hockey quick key. It's one wall down, two wall down, three wall down. Mission complete, claim. Now it wants us to craft a base door. So here's our door. Once again, you can quick slot it, hit five, place your door, and claim the door. Claim this. Now, before we do anything else, I want you guys to take your hammer, okay? Right click and set pin code. This is how you set the codes on your door, okay? If you do not do this, people can walk straight into your base. Now we have our code set and nobody can open the door except anybody with the code or anyone in your clan. Our last mission is to upgrade three of your base walls to stone by using a hammer. So you take the hammer tool and right click till you get to upgrade. That's one. 
I'm gonna have to mine some nodes here. Take a real pick here. Start mining. Alright, now we have 60 stone. That's enough to upgrade the two more walls that we need. It is 30 stone per wall to upgrade with the hammer tool. So I'm going to put the hammer tool back in our hand. Nope, I was wrong. It's 40 per wall, so we need to get a little more stone. Also, these mushrooms, you could pick up off the ground and eat them. If you guys are ever hungry. Simply eat them by double clicking them or right clicking. Congratulations on the promotion, soldier. We've increased your global stash limit. So we hit level two. In this game there's a level system, and the level system only has a uh, purpose for the global stashing game, which will allow you to stash items at settlements with grace. And uh, for the battle pass. Once again, this game is free to play. Um, the battle pass is kind of the only way to help fund the game and support the developers. So we need 10 more stone. Alright, now we have enough to upgrade that third wall. It's 40 stone per wall. My apologies, I thought it was 30. We'll grab our hammer tool again. We will run over here. Also, you can cut these small trees. Just for a little tip here. Obviously, they will give you less wood as they are a smaller tree. Let's go into our base and upgrade the last wall. Nice. Back to our missions tab. We'll clean the bottom mission and claim rewards. So our next mission is going to be crafting a storage container. To craft a storage container, we're going to go to type storage. One bites the dust. To make Congrats, one, it's soldier. 20 wood plank and 5 nails. Increased. Obviously you're getting the nails from the pre previous missions. Go ahead and claim reward. Now, we are going to put our storage container down in our one by one base. To rotate items, use your scroll wheel. And then, boom. Now, with the storage container, make sure you're setting a code on your container. You just go here, set code. 1111, save. Now, anybody who doesn't have the code cannot access the container. Missions tab, claim rewards, craft a workbench. I like to type in workbench. See the craft of workbench, we're gonna need 50 planks and five more nails. So let's dump our loot off in here. The promotion, soldier. We've increased your global stash we can just go ahead and drag our loot in here. This small container only holds 20 uh, slots. Go ahead and qu equip this helmet. Go take one of these good axes and let's go cutting trees. So, if we need 50 uh, wood, that means we need to cut 25 logs. As you guys are watching your surroundings, I am on a PvP server. Just gotta keep in mind, when you're cutting trees, people far away can see those trees fall over. And if you're cutting trees outside your base, it's kind of obvious that you're online. So keep all those things into uh, account while farming right next to your base. I 
Right, we should have more than enough uh, wood logs here. Crafting tab, wood planks, met craft max. No lag right there. We're gonna hide in our base. Before we craft the um, workbench, I am going to go ahead and craft a floor tile as we probably want a roof on our base. This will prevent you from boosting inside. There you go. Let's craft more wooden planks. Do we have enough yet for our workbench? Looks like we have enough. Let's grab our container. Type in work. Craft one workbench. Nice. Completed that mission. Let's claim our rewards. Now construct a workbench in your base. Same thing with the tool uh with the storage container. Rotate with scroll wheel. Let's put it in the corner here. Nice. Claim our new rewards. Now craft a sleeping bag. To craft a sleeping bag, you're going to need five cloth. So let's put that cloth on us. So we'll type in a sleeping bag. So the sleeping bag will be used to set a respawn point inside of your base. This will also show you where your base is because your bag will show up on the map, right? Put our bag in this corner. Nice. Go to Mish's tab. Claim rewards and claim rewards. Now to craft a furnace. For a furnace, you're going to need 25 scrap metal. So we'll take all, we'll take a scrap metal from the missions we've earned as rewards. Craft a furnace. It requires a work a tier one workbench. We will place our furnace right here next to our workbench, and we will claim our rewards. Boom. Now that was the tutorial of the missions tab. I hope that guys helped you a lot. Maybe I'll make more. But until next time, guys, if you have any questions, put them in the there, comment. Check out my Twitch channel video. where I stream daily, and I can answer all your questions there if you need help. Love you guys. Take care. Have a good one.